Hey everyone, today we're going to go through this guy's rhythm playing, what he's doing on this song El Zorro that uh, we wrote together, ooh, eight, nine, ten years ago. So young, so fresh. Anyway, let's get stuck into the rhythm part. Now the song is based on A minor, G, F, E. That's pretty much it. Um, it's it's the right hand. If you uh, you can play any any version of A minor, G, F, E, and it's kind of it's gonna work to some degree. A lot of it is the right hand. Most of it is the right hand. Um, so I've covered this in some other rumba videos that I've done. Um, if you haven't seen them, go and have a look. But this is specifically Mikey's part on this tune. Um, so it's with the rumba, you've got a, a strong pulse on the two and and the four. All right, so he, he starts with a thumb down with a golpe. Okay, so if, if you get your hand into this kind of action um, fingers down thumb up if the, like if this is your first rumba experience um, so get used to this down and up 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 it'll be difficult to do this if you can't do that so that's the basis starting on the very beginning fingers down thumb up just get used to that then get used to the the feeling of the accents. So one and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. One and two and three and four. So you get. That kind of vibe. Anyway, more technical part coming up. We have the thumb down and a golpe. Mikey beats the absolute crap out of his guitar and um, I don't. So we don't have similar rhythm styles. He is way better than I am. Very strong, solid player. Um, so he, I believe he was using two fingers depending on what he wanted to do to get more sound out of it. Because it's easy to do the thumb down and it's louder than the, the gold pay, but he really He's a percussionist as well, very good percussionist, and um, so he wants a solid bass drum sound. So the main thing that he's doing in this that's not just down and up f on beat one, he's doing a golpe uh, and uh, thumb down at the same time. On beat four, he's doing the chk noise, the muting. So he's got this one and two, This is the big big part of it, getting that one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So when you get the four, load your thumb, ready to play the one again. So we've got the rest of it's down and up strokes. If you keep with the uh, fingers down, thumb up, that's gonna get you through it. So the main thing, one, When you come up here, I, did, I didn't do it right, but when you come up, you can do, hang on, let me have a listen, hang on. Yeah, he changes it around. Um, but on the four, you can do a little upstroke, or, or you can do nothing, it just depends. It's going, this is quite quick, so if you're going, doing it slow that last upstroke can be a bit more important but with this oh my hands not ready for this crazy fast rumba stuff I haven't played rumba much for like almost 10 years since I left this band so uh, yeah sloppy rumba with Toby anyway so that's the main part that's the main thing in this first step of the the song he's doing that rhythm He does a little rascado. 
He uses this one where we come up with the thumb, down with the fingers, down with the thumb. I don't use the same uh, raschiato as him very much, especially if I'm not warmed up. He does this one a lot, so up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. I use this one. You can do the same rhythm. Um, like I said, he's a strong player and aggressive, uh, so he goes, he goes heavy. So I play it. Up, down, down. And Mikey. So that's on the E, and this is kind of mixed up. He doesn't always do it, do two. So I'm just going to rough, roughly go through what he's doing. See, I can't get eaten. So you can get the vibe of it just getting the boom. Strong four, slight accent on the two ands. That's going to get you through the song. The technique is a bit of a pain if you've never done it. Lots of practice required. Uh, and it is very quick. So, um, yeah, take your time. Don't hurt yourself trying to play it. Um, bit I actually never played um, in La Rumba. I left it to Mikey uh, because you don't always want to play the same thing. Sometimes he's doing a specific rhythm and I'm doing another one so they complement each other and also it's hard. <laughs> so uh, I actually had to just look at it before I started this video to make sure I knew what he was doing. Um, and I cannot play it at, his, at this tempo. It's like I said I haven't played Rumba in a long time but I know what he's doing. It's the same concept as before, but he's doing a double tap up the top with his thumb. I'll play it slow, possibly badly, because like I said, I don't play this anymore. Um, and I never did this rhythm. I just asked him and never bothered. <laughs> tough one. You do the first bit the same. Just a down with a golpe. But as soon as you've come up, you do a up stroke with the thumb and a tap. And a, well, you want to do a double tap. First taps by itself. Second tap. You're strumming at the same time. This part is, that's it. That's what makes it difficult. Because the rest of it's the same as the other rhythm. He's just getting this uh, that's what's going on it's very difficult I'll play it again slowly the only way I can So that's it.
it's a difficult one but it sounds cool and he loved it and he used it a lot and like I said he's very good rhythm guitarist so he knows what he's doing and he can play that really quickly I've never really done it like I said but thought I'd learn it so I could tell you what's going on um, he does use it in other songs on the CD that we put out on he uses it quite a bit I think um, but yeah it sounds cool having that The double tap and the strum. It takes a lot of getting used to, so if, like I said, it's difficult because I don't know if you're all beginners, all me intermediate, or whatever, or you're trying to do it on a frying pan. I have no idea. So if you can practice even just that slap and strum, get used to that feeling, then There you go. So, once again, ah, once again, correctly. Yeah, that's difficult. The rest of it is just uh, whatever stops and starts, like when we do the... Whatever that is. And I have not memorised all of those. We made it up on the spot pretty often. <sighs> yeah, we made up a lot of stuff. Uh, anyway, so it's that's it. That's, that's, that's the idea. Hopefully that made sense. Hopefully I didn't... Too much for you. Um, spread it around, give it a thumbs up, all that stuff, whatever. Just enjoy it and uh, use it for other songs. It is difficult at this tempo and even slower, it's still difficult. Um, so take it super slow, get, it, get your hand into that uh, comfort zone. Um, if you are a total beginner, take it extremely slow. But uh, yeah, just repetition, get into it and um, apply it to any other Roomba because it f it's a 4-4 four -four strumming pattern. That's it. That's all that's going on. It's just a little bit technological with the right hand. All right. So there you go.